It's been a big setback for former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister and TDP Chief Chandrababu Naidu, who was sent to 14 to judicial custody by an anti-corruption bureau court on Sunday evening. This comes after his arrest by the CID first on Saturday in connection to an alleged 371 crore rupee scam during the previous TDP government. Here's a report on what exactly unfolded and what next for political future of Chandrababu Naidu. The former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister has been sent to 14-day judicial custody by an anti-corruption bureau court on Sunday evening. While TDP workers, on the other hand, held a hunger strike protesting against the verdict. Andhra Pradesh Minister Roja celebrated the verdict alongside YSRCP cadres by bursting crackers and distributing sweets at her residence. Naidu was questioned for nearly 10 hours at the CID office in Kunchanapalli. Naidu was then taken to the Government General Hospital at 3.40 a.m. for medical tests before being taken back to the SIT's office. The alleged scam is said to have taken place in the State Skill Development Corporation during the TDP's regime from 2014 to 2019. The CID has alleged that 371 crore rupees of government funds were transferred to shell companies while seeking his remand for further investigation. Whether it is India, whether it is NDA, whether it is Pawan Kalyan or whether it is some other uh, party, the case should be seen at this level and Chandrababu Naidu is the main culprit and he enjoyed the public money of 371 crores and he should be punished for this. Naidu's lawyers argue that Naidu is falsely implicated in the case for political gains. They claim that the alleged offences against Naidu related to policy decision was approved by the state cabinet and they couldn't question the government's decisions. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jansena Party President Pavan Kalyan was taken into preventive custody on Saturday for protesting against Naidu's arrest. Pavan Kalyan initially claimed that he was headed towards his party office, but he was dramatically stopped by the Andhra Pradesh police while he was making his way to Vijayawada. His flight wasn't allowed to take off. He then took by road, and while he was on his way, the police stopped him. Eventually, Pavan Kalyan tried to walk on foot before he was detained. Their intention is purely not to let any opposition parties to survive and to scare them, to scare the cadre. So we are looking at it as a part of that. So there is no need to stop me, no need to uh, deny permission to my, for my flight to take off. And there is no need for it. Naidu's arrest ahead of the assembly polls next year has raised questions about the timing of this crackdown. Bureau Report, India Today.